My name is Natalie Lord. I'm a veterinarian and I've been working with Blue Bonnet for about over three years now. This is Colby. He was my challenge horse two-ish years ago, whenever that first happened that I had him as a challenge. And he actually came to me as a rehab. I was available to foster and rehab. He was found um, in Texas, um, starved and Good Samaritans just needed help to, uh, to find resources for him to feed him because they were having difficulty. So Blue Bonnet um, was there for him. I was available as foster, so I took him as, as a foster and rehabber and rehabbed him back to weight, addressed all his dental issues. He had no metabolic disease issues to keep him from gaining weight. He did have some lameness and foot issues that I addressed um, with my farrier. Overall, he was qualified for, to, to compete in the challenge six or eight months from, from the Blue Bonnet Expo. So I took on the challenge in, in introducing him to the Expo um, where we competed and he did well overall. He was actually adopted at that time because um, I wasn't sure if I was going to take on a second horse. But when that adoption um, didn't work out, it wasn't a right fit personality wise with his energy and the, and the owner's energy. I decided to, to take him back and give him that forever home. And we've had fun ever since. We actually competed in our first dressage show last May. And that's what I love about this uh, organization, Blue Bonnet Horse Rescue Works, a little differently than other rescues in that they provide all the resources with vets and rehab and nutritional care farriers and horse trainers to get you everything that you might need to address any issues with this new horse, especially through the fostership program or challenge program. And even if that adoption doesn't work or, or you're struggling through it at any point of your adoption story, they can connect you with trainers and veterinarians and farriers along the way. And if that still doesn't work out, you know, Blue Bonnet keeps really close contact with their horses. Colby gets a checkup every year and it's not from me. And so the rescue comes and, and visits them on site and checks that their environment is still good and that their health is still good. At any point that something doesn't work, they'll take the horse back and find him a good home. I think working with Blue Bonnet Horse Rescue um, as a veterinarian, it's great. Finding a horse for adoption is excellent for, you know, even a discounted price. You get a horse that's fully vetted, Coggins, vaccines, teeth done, any issues with the teeth, any health issues with the horse are always uh, provided to you and, and out in the open so you know how to address them and there's no secrets kept with it when you're adopting a horse from Blue Bonnet Horse Rescue. So um, they're probably the best horse rescue organization that I've worked with in maintaining that trust and, and taking care of the horses for sure.